Hello and welcome to another SH Figure Arts Review. Today we have the version, technically free, version 3 of Kamrider Skull. The first version was Kamrider Skull and then we had Kamrider Skull Crystal which gave us the extra crystallized head from the later movie. And now we have the third version which is the real bone version and that's freaking awesome. I don't have the original to compare anymore because I sold that as soon as this one was announced. Uh, but I have pre-ordered the Eternal figure and I still have the original Eternal so I might do a comparison with that when that comes out. So let's see. Comrade Joker has also been announced and that one is a uh, Tamashii Nations like exclusive thing uh, but it will also eventually be uh, available on the Bandai Premium website. Fingers crossed for all the other forms because Heat Metal was showcased, Nazca was showcased, a new version of that, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll get another Kamada Cyclone upgrade, that'd be great. So, yep, just like all of the other versions of the real bone here, the box has a stylish feel, like pristine, special fancy look to it. A little bit of information on the back showing you some of the stuff, not all the stuff you get inside, because you get a ton of stuff in here, which is good for come, someone like Kamala Skull. He deserves it. Inside the box, of course, we get the instructions, which is just the same style as all the other ones, double-sided printed sort of thing going on, and here's good one. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, the top tray here, we have uh, the main figure, just like all the other ones, just the figure and the accessories will be in the bottom tray, so easily pop that open, you get Skull there, originally there were a few little plastic sheets around that you gotta just tear it off from the figure, but otherwise it's fine, so you got that out the way. Okay, with the bottom tray, we have a lot of stuff here, and it's been uh, pushed down quite a lot, so you be careful in putting down. It's quite tight, and has a reason to, because we have a tiny guy memory in here, just like all the other ones from the double line. So you just be a little bit careful in pulling that open, and you should be alright to go. And here is a quick look at what you get inside the tray. Apart from the fists already attached to the body, I have a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of gun-holding hands, a pair of count up your crimes pointing hands, a pair of hat holding slash posing hands, and finally a pair of guy of memory holding hands. Accessory wise we have two sets of scars, we have a relaxed one and we have a blowing in the wind one, both of them are painted on both sides and have a little single hinge right there. To get the scarf in, just bend down the hinge and then poke it through the piece that's already on the torso. Uh, it should line up with a hole on the actual black area of the torso. And there you go, now you have the scarf plugged in. Just unplug this one and put the other one in and you can have his scarf blowing in the wind. You have two hats here, one is the complete one, the good fedora, and you have a battle damage one that has a cut through it. Both of them are pretty much the same shape apart from that little cut. And both of them have this little plastic protective transparent piece, it's optional. Uh, you can put it between the figure and the hat if you want, but it usually comes in the box. I'm not too bothered about it. Apparently it stops some scratch markings and whatever on the actual helmet, so you can put that in between the hands. It's not too noticeable, but it's gets in the way so not too bothered. The hats themselves attach pretty well onto the figure but um, I do recommend getting a bit of blue tack but I do recommend getting a little bit of blue tack for the hat just to make sure it doesn't fall off anything because you do need to push down quite hard on to the head to uh, get it to stay there and even so even then and even then it can come quite easily. The hat's made out of a soft-ish material Next up we have the briefcase that is used and seen in the movie. It is uh, holding the uh, double driver as well, the guy memories inside, and yes it does open up and there are slots in there and you can put a double driver in there and guy memories into these slots just fine. There's a little bit of paint detail on the side for some of the locks and such and on the other side you have more painted detail. The overall briefcase does look very nice and for the most part well it functions as it should. Putting guy memories in there is easy, but pulling them out uh, takes a little bit of a hassle. Again, have some blue tack around so you can just stick the guy memory out of the case. And you just use the gun holding hand to hold that if you want to. And speaking of the double driver, there is a spare double driver in this set as well, but it is not articulated. It is painted just as nicely, I think, as the other one. You got a little black line detail on the side that even the DX toy misses. Uh, but on the back of it, it's flat and black. There's no details whatsoever. And like I said, it's not uh, articulated, so you can't open it up. Uh, and <clears throat> you see the bottom area there is not painted in any color because it's not activated But you can stick guide memories in there if you want to the whole slots are still there So just get the case and then you can stick the 
job of driving there and there you go so if you have any spare guy members on the other uh, figure arts you can put them in there as well now I've got a bottle burning skull memory in there because it's a bit of pain to get out our next accessory of course is the skull magnum which is just a repaint of the trigger magnum so hint hint bandai is that when once you know luna trigger a new version coming out anyway so there it is it's uh, it's very nicely painted, it's very nicely done, and it is actually articulated. So you can move that up, and there is a little green tab painted on the front, just like the toy and in the show, painted very nicely on both sides. And it does have transparent plastic, so you can stick the skull memory in there. Tiny, tiny memory. It falls in there, and of course the gun itself locks the memory in there, so you're not you don't have to worry about losing the memory or having it fall out from the gun because it's secure in there. So just open it back up and you want to get the memory out, just flip it upside down and the memory drops very easily. And speaking of the memory, there it is, it is tiny, very, very tiny. I've put blue tack, tiny bit of blue tack in my double figure, my exo driver, and I'm going to put, I've put a little blue tack in the skull driver as well, just so I don't lose it. Oh, look, there it goes. Once you lose it, it's gone forever. Detail wise, it's painted nicely, it's made out of transparent plastic, but just like all the other memories, the sticker isn't ex exactly the most high resolution thing. You just see the S and a little bit of pattern, but uh, you know, you're not going to get the full blown sort of memory pattern thing going on, which is fine because of how tiny it is. And our last accessory is the Skull Crystal Head, which appeared in the movie War Call Between Double and O's, which most of the uh, double part was the flashback showing Skull's past. And uh, the way this head is done is that it is split in half like so. So just remove the hat from your figure and then just split it in half. And then they're both uh, pretty much the same shape and stuff so you can mix and match if you really want to. It's who cares. Uh, not the best thing to do, it's a bit finicky. Just aim the neck. The crystal skull mask or head does look quite nice with the transparent plastic and the compound eyes and all that. So it, it does look pretty good, except you can see the joint there, uh, right in the middle, the line, and on this side it doesn't quite fit onto the neck piece quite well, so there's a little bit of a gap and that's really annoying. Bandai, just give us a second bloody head instead of making us do this, or better yet, do what you did with the Spider-Man figures where the whole headpiece just plops off from the neck. Um, the hidden piece is that. I mean, the hidden piece thing be inside the head. This little square piece is fine. But um, can we not have these studs there? Can we just pull the head up and pull it back onto it, like the Spider-Man figure? Or like I said, just give us a second head, just pop it from the, the neck joint. This is ridiculous, and it's not just me. Um, it's frustrating to pull on and the gap's not done too well. If it was just a single head, they would have you know, glued it together and sealed it tight. And I've seen many people online with worse heads than my figure. For example, with that seam line between the two halves being almost a millimeter wide. So they had to either go sand, it down, sand the plastic down themselves just to fix it or whatever. And the reason for that is because it's made out of two, each half's made out of two big pieces of plastic. Got the transparent piece on the outside that's slightly painted, a little bit of silver, so I mean it looks nice, but the problem is you also got the second piece inside and that means you're doubling or tripling the amount of error spaces that you can get and um, mine's alright like it's, you see it's still flat but uh, it doesn't close up properly too well and some of the people the gluing between the inside and the outside piece is slightly misaligned which gives them a huge huge gap between the heart, two halves of the head so that's just ridiculous Next up, moving on to articulation. So if you have the double figure arts, you know pretty much what to expect. It is mostly the same figure, just with a few altered pieces. So it goes up, it goes down, sideways, sideways. It's a double bore neck joint. Uh, the scarf, for the most part, gets out the way because it's made out of softish material because it's not permanently glued down. So you can actually remove the scarf uh, altogether if you really want to. Uh, shoulder pads are on a little hinge that's on a little ball peg to get them out of the way. Double ball socket joints for the upper arm and so you got the full rotation and all that good stuff. Upper arm rotation here. Double elbow joint and of course the hand is on a little ball and peg swiveling joint. Torso there, got the two ball joints up in bottom so you got lots of movement. 
for rotation. Do mind out, this top piece here has um, left a little mark on my stomach area, which is really annoying because I bent them down uh, too much, so that can happen, which is really annoying. Uh, the double belt has, the, the last drive has a little articulation there if you want to count that. And uh, oh, full rotation here, leg up, leg back, leg sideways, double knee joint, and of course the foot is on a hinge and swivel and you got the toe joint which goes about mm, like 45 degrees or something like that and there you go oh and the uh, chest pieces will take just a little bit come on the skull is cool and badass and definitely deserves this figure upgrade and I'm very pleased with the result for the most part aside from that crystal head and issues a lot of people have having with it this is a definitely a great upgrade. If you love Kamen Rider, if you love Kamen Rider Double especially, you definitely have to pick this figure up. It is not too expensive at the moment, I've seen its cheapest price going for 348 Hong Kong dollars at Google Toys that I always go to, he, I didn't get this figure there. Uh, but uh, other people are selling it, uh, the Japanese box version which is just missing the Hong Kong stickers for 440, and I've also seen the Hong Kong version going up for uh, 360. So the price isn't too bad for a figure like this, but no doubt as soon as that stock runs out, the price will go up because he is a loved character. So if you like him, like this character, or like Kamada Double, you definitely need to check this figure out as soon as you can. Overall, the paint job of this figure is pretty decent. It's a little bit easy to scratch when the plastic rubs against each other, but uh, that might be something to do with the matte finish, maybe, but it's still a little bit annoying, quite frustrating. The accessory count is excellent. I uh, would have preferred it if they given us a full set of guy memories because if you think about it there's six, six guy memory slots in there and we put the guy memories in there that means our double figures won't have guy memories in their belts or their guns which is a bit silly so it would have been nice if they came with all six guy memories I mean, you don't expect us to buy an extra figure just to pull the memory out to put it in this briefcase and that's silly Still, it is a pretty much a full count of accessories, so that's pretty good. Trigger Magnum is pretty awesome as well, with the articulation added to it. And of course, all the memory slots are all functional, and that's really great. So overall, this is a very good figure out, very good piece count, and definitely, definitely go check it out. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below, and of course, take care and have a nice day. I will see you guys soon, and time to count up your crimes. Or sins, or whichever what a translation you want to do. Uh, don't care. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, definitely check out the like button, subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also urge you to turn ad block off, that would be very useful for me. But if you don't want to turn ad block off but still want to support this channel, you can share this video to other people as well as go on to the Patreon link in the video description below. But of course nobody is perfect at all, so you can click the dislike button and also leave a comment below on what you want to see improve on these videos and such and such. I'll be reviewing a bunch of other figures coming up soon, I have a whole pile of them in front of me, I just need time to do it, full time job and all that, so yeah, take care, have a nice day, I'll see you guys soon, and of course, count up your sins, if you have any, or crimes, like whatever translation you want to do.